Hey guys, this is Narsiman. I'm back with another video. I do know I do know that it's been a while since I made a talking video. The last video I posted was the Jono's theme from the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure series. I I hope you've checked it out. In fact, talking videos is a lot more easier to make. You know, it's, it's got to talk and you know put some music using the, the Windows video editor. It's quite easy. Unlike a guitar video where you know I need to record what I'm playing, the and the backing track. You know, it's a lot harder. So yeah. So this video is about a topic that is. Um, Again, very dear to my heart. It's one. It's one of those thoughts I had recently, and I was like, "Yeah, this is how the world needs to be." Yeah, if you think about it. So this topic is about cooperation versus competition, and why in this day and age cooperation is better than competition. So if you think about it, the world as we know it, I'm talking about the human world. You know, um, it is such that there are a lot of factors that make you an individual, that separate you from another person. You know, such as um, your name, the degree that you have, your bank balance, your bank account. you know the amount of money that you make the school that you went to your family your children basically a lot of factors that make you a possessive person if you think about it you know, because of which you can say that the world is a competitive place it's it's such that the world is it's, con- it's constantly pitting you against someone or the other you know it's like it's like i think of it as a rat race where you have to constantly you know compete with people and you know you have to get ahead if you think about it yeah. even if you look at it you know schools for that matter i would say more than cooperation there's more competition it's uh, because of marks if you think about it you know it's like oh i get 90% i'm an above average student i get 40% i'm a below average student you know and then the guy who's the you know he's like always he feels bad because of having low marks and he some day he wants to take revenge and get the highest marks you know and uh i remember once i had this incident i want to share that you know i um, i got like I'm, i'm i'm an average student i was an average student you know growing up and uh, i got like okayish marks you know like you know i always get okayish marks but but that one test i got i think the highest in the class and uh, there was this the above average kid who was a little bit jealous of me and uh, you know he actually checked my paper to see if the teacher had given me extra grades and uh, so this is what competition does to you you know so when someone does better than you there is a part of you that wants to you know pull them down because someone else being ahead of you it creates this resentment inside of you yeah so you know the reason i support cooperation and i feel that the strength of humanity lies in cooperation and not competition is because um because the beauty of cooperation is that you are using your strength you're employing all of your strength to help another individual get ahead in life you know see if you look at a jungle it's survival of the fittest dog eat dog world you know really where as an animal there is a chance of you 
your body being eaten by another animal but i feel human life should not be like that you know i feel humanity should be known for cooperation and not competition at least for human lives it should be like the strong looks after the weak the weak become strong and looks after other weak people you know that's how it's supposed to be when it comes to the human world in a jungle i can understand it is a you you have animals that have you know limited intelligence and they have their animal instincts and they do not have a discriminating mindset so you know they fall prey to their own instincts and use their instincts to either breed or you know to eat in our animal and it's fine but for a human being that, that has better intelligence higher intelligence discriminatory intelligence i feel we must strive to help one another grow and not to you know crush another individual so i'll give you, i'll give an example okay you know and i am a and i'm a, a bms student and in my, in, in my one of my textbooks i came across the definition of an organization and if you think about it organization stems from the word organism and what is an organism an organism is a creature that has a certain amount of cells that work in cooperation with each other in harmony with each other to enable optimal functioning of that organism so if you think about it a human being is also such an organism a very complex organism that has trillions of cells working in unison and harmony so that this body functions properly you know you know even the very act of me moving my hand or my feet or walking you know which seems like a simple task but if you look at you know what happens internally you will be baffled with the amount of cooperation that takes place between your nerves and your other internal organs you know yeah it's like a it's like a factory if you uh, if you ask me you know really so yeah your own body thrives in cooperation but at the same time you have these cancer cells that is cells that go to war with other cells thus destroying the body as a whole you know and same for human beings you have these people called terrorists that go to other nations and you know blow up their properties and you know shoot other human beings thus destroying humanity as a whole you know? no humanity has not been destroyed but you know that day is not far where you know there is so much of competition that it can lead to worldwide destruction yeah i mean yeah if you think about it, you know uh, the world right now it's it is it is a, it's quite a divided world you know you have you got different nations and in with the nation you have states and you know yeah nations are constantly fighting with other nations for resources and money and what not you know? constant competition you know? just wish there could be more unity among the nations instead of this you know constant battle kind of a mindset you know i don't i don't respect that to be honest i don't respect that so yeah it's a set of for cooperation you know you're using your strength to help another person yeah. it also reminds me of that example you know music you listen to music you like music you do but why does music sound good you know let's say you have a band you know let's say you have a a guitarist a bass player a drummer and a keyboardist what makes their songs so fantastic it is because these instrumentalists are playing their instrument in unity in unison in harmony with the other instrumentalists you know but if each but if each instrumentalist were to play their instrument as loud as possible you know it would create discord it would create disharmony thus making a song a crappy song It's like yeah you know, there there are certain sections in a song you know called a, a solo where you know a, an instrumentalist is playing the loudest but the other instrumentalists are selfless they're gracious enough to you know 
partially mute their instrument so that this guy can be heard. But then, yeah, really, I honestly feel, yeah, you must, as an individual, strive to be more selfless, strive to be more cooperative, maybe not all the time, but at least once, once in a while, you know, that, like, you know, I feel humans are a selfish species because they don't know any better, you know, even for me, for that matter, you know, every time I go to the grocery store, you know, I, I buy stuff for myself and my family, you know, but I remember, you know, once, you know, there was this, uh, little, little girl, you know, I, uh, my neighbor and uh, it was Diwali and I thought of buying her something and you know it was the first time one of those few instances in my life where you know I went to this shop I paid the money but you know I'm just giving it away to another person for them to enjoy and not myself you know it just it, to be honest it just it kind of freed me as a person you know it just it just felt so good you know to just buy stuff you know, you're paying money for it and just giving it away, you know. The joy of giving as they call that, you know. Yeah. It felt nice. It felt it felt amazing. Yeah. I want to do more of that, you know. I, I promise, you know, if I had a little, a, a little bit more money, that's what I would, I want to do, you know. Just buy stuff for people. Just make them happy, man. You know? Oh, yeah, one more thing about myself. I don't think I've told you people is that, you know. Uh... I do have certain friends of mine whom I'm in touch with WhatsApp and Facebook and you know. So what I do on their birthdays is that I um, I record myself playing the guitar and I sing the happy birthday tune for them and I send it to them. And uh, guess what? I don't make a dime out of it, I don't make a penny out of it but it makes them happy and they tell me how happy it made them, how much it made their day and you know. It feel it feels so good to just contribute, to be a contributor, you know, instead of just you know hoarding and hoarding and hoarding. You know, just yeah, man, do something for someone. You know what I'm saying? Just make their day, man. The world will be such a more colorful place to live, a much more better place to live if you ask me. You know that? Yeah, do something for somebody, man, yeah. for a change, you know. and see that happiness that you get. Yeah, I also read this WhatsApp forward, and you get so many of them. But some of them are good. Most of them are shit posts, but some of them are genuinely interesting. You know, I came across this forward where you know, a teacher he told the kids to to blow a balloon, each kid one balloon, and to write their name on it. Okay, and he told them to scatter those balloons in a in a classroom. Which they did, and he told the kids to find the balloon with their name on it. And uh, I think 30 minutes passed, an hour passed, and they were not able to do it. So what the teacher told them is that you just take a random balloon, you see what name is written on it, and you give it to the person you know whose name is written on it, and and you won't believe in two minutes, everyone like people got their got the balloon with their name on it because the other person helped them find it so that's how it is for happiness you know as cheesy as it sounds when you help someone else find their happiness you in turn become happy yeah um, so yeah this is this is what I wanted to say in this video the difference between cooperation and competition Cooperation where you're using your strength to help another person, to improve another person's life, giving stuff, contributing, giving away. But in case of competition, it is like, don't get me wrong, I'm not against cooperation, competition, you know. Competition can be healthy, you know, in, in case of sports and other activities, if it's healthy competition, you know. But the moment it becomes cutthroat competition where your survival depends on your position then you will use all your power to topple another person down to screw them up that's what I'm saying so so you know I feel we need to live in a world where there is 
a balance between cooperation and competition where there's more cooperation and a little bit less competition, but not zero competition. You know, we need some motivation to give people also. You know that competition is not, it's not all that bad. You know, it does give you that motivation to become a better person, to strive to reach a better version of yourself. But let's not overdo it. Like even in schools, let's teach cooperation because it's it's learning starts from the schools and then colleges and then you go to an office, you know. But you need to teach the right values to kids, you know. And cooperation is one of those values, you know, which I feel can gen- can genuinely heal the world. You know, learn about another country, learn about their culture, learn about their language, and you will see within four or five years. That country that you thought was an alien country, it feels like your own. Japan is one of the examples of where, you know, although I'm not a citizen of that country, but because I know about their language, because I know about their culture, because I know about their entertainment media, it, it I don't I don't feel like it is a foreign country. I, I, I feel like they are my people, although, you know, I'm I'm, I'm an Indian person. So, so again, you know, I like to end this video. I think that you know, let's strive to be in unison with one another. And let's not fight with each other. Let's unite because the strength of humanity lies in cooperation and not competition. So, with that being said, I'm gonna sign off. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You know, peace, guys. Peace out. Stay blessed, stay safe.